In this problem, we have to graph the function g of x equals 2 to the x plus 1. So let's do it by hand first, and then we'll do it in MATLAB. So if you have 2 to the x, it looks like this. You have a y-axis, an x-axis, and it always has a horizontal asymptote at 0, and it looks like this. Okay, and this is 1. Always. That's the graph of 2 to the x. Now, when we add 1 to the entire function, we're going to go up by 1. Okay, so we're going up 1. So we're taking this entire graph here and going up 1. So basically, it's shifting everything up by 1. So our horizontal asymptote, instead of being at 0, it'll be at 1. So it's going to look like this. And our graph is always 1 higher. This is 1, so if it's 1 higher, it becomes 2. Okay, and that's it. Now all we have to do is do it in MATLAB. So I'm going to click right here where it says click to enlarge graph. So I'm going to click that. And then you just click this one here because that's the shape of the exponential function. It says click the graph to plot your curve. So you can just click anywhere, I think. Let's try it. Boom. Yep. Then this pops up. So it's kind of confusing. Um, so we're going up by 1. So if you go up and down, that's vertical. So it's a vertical translation, and we're going up by 1, or vertical shift. So it should be positive 1. So I'm holding my left mouse cursor so it shows up. And when you let it go, it goes away. Watch. So if you forget where you are, you can just move your mouse back here and then just hold it and left click, and it shows up. Also here you can enter the base. The base is correct. The base is 2. Okay, it looks okay. I'm going to click Save. Oh, we also have to enter the asymptote. So I'm going to go ahead and click this again. The asymptote is a dotted line. So you come over here, and there's a dotted line. So you click on that. And then we click on the line symbol. So again, we clicked on this dotted line, and then on the line symbol. And now, when you hover your mouse here, it does matter where you put it. So we know from our picture that we did by hand, uh, it's the line y equals 1. So I'm just going to go up here to a 0, 1, and then left click. And then I'm just going to go to the right a little bit. And you can click anywhere over here. Don't do this, because then, then it's not a horizontal line. So I'm going to click that, and then click Save. OK, here we go. Moment of truth. Yep, got it right. Well done. Now it says the equation of the asymptote for this function is, well, it's a horizontal line, so it's always y equals. OK, it's always going to be y equals. So it'll be y equals 1. Horizontal lines are always y equals, and then vertical lines are always x equals. So it's y equals 1. Let's click Check Answer. Good stuff. The domain. The domain is all of the x's that you can plug in that make sense. So the domain is always all real numbers for these exponential functions. Because you can plug in anything here and it makes sense. You can put any x here. You're not dividing by 0 and there's no funky square roots. So it should be all real numbers or negative infinity to infinity. I'm going to click this one here. And then hit the negative sign and then infinity. Click here and then infinity. Let's try it. Yay! worked. <laughs> the range, the range is all the y values. So the smallest y value, well, there's a dotted line at 1, so it never touches there, but it's from 1 to infinity. You go from the bottom up, from 1 to infinity. So it would be parentheses, because it never actually touches the dotted line, so you don't include the dotted line. So 1 to infinity. You always go from the bottom up for the range, okay? So from the bottom up. Check answer, and that's it. I hope that made sense.